Hi, this is Deborah from Dinglefoot.com, and this week I'm going to show you an easy Christmas card, and I'm going to be using ribbon. So you can see my ribbon is beige with red poinsettias, and that's why I chose these colors for my card. So if you're going to make a card similar, just grab colors that go with the ribbon that you have on hand. And I'm going to be using my Southwest Corner Punch. I have ink and gold embossing powder and that's going to be for my stamp this says holiday wishes for you but I'm just going to use the top part and I also have a white snowflake and since that won't go with my beige I'm also going to be using clear embossing ink and I'm going to emboss this in gold so that it matches my card better and I also have score tape and the reason I like using the score tape is that it's sticky like the tacky tape, but I can just tear it off with my fingers and I don't need my scissors. And that's really great for when you're using ribbon because you don't have enough hands to deal with the scissors and the tape and everything too. So that's why I'm using that. And I think that's all I need. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, I'm just going to take my Southwest Punch here. And just do the corners of my card. It just adds a little extra touch to the design of the card. And one more. Okay, so that's done. Now I'm going to be doing this backwards. Usually I make my project and then stamp it, but this time I want to do this backwards because once you have ribbon on your card, you're not going to want to be getting embossing powder all over it. So I'm only going to be using this part that says Holiday Wishes, so I have to just kind of ink it carefully so I only get the ink on that part of the stamp that I am going to use. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's make sure I get the bottom of the letters there. Get my embossing powder open. Okay, this is going to go right on the bottom. Okay, get our embossing powder on there. Whoops, making a mess here, but I'm going to dump it off. And then I'm going to quickly use my heat tool and get that embossed. Okay, we have the holiday wishes on the bottom of our card. And I forgot, I should have just done this all at the same time. But I'm going to take my snowflake bread. Just pounce that right in the clear embossing powder. And I'm just actually going to dip that right in my embossing powder. And hold this with tweezers or something so you don't get burned. And then I'm going to also use my embossing heat tool for the snowflake. Okay, so I got my snowflake embossed. And I'm just going to set that aside. Let it cool down and make sure it's really good and dry. So I'm just going to set that over there and we will use that in a few minutes. Next we're going to work with our ribbon. Okay, to get started with my ribbon, I put a piece of double stick tape down here and you can see on my ribbon that I have the right side stuck to my card. So, I'm just going to, you can do this either way, I'm going to be working this way. And I'm going to I think put a little piece of tape here to hold that down. I'm just going to grab a teensy little piece. Peel off the backing on it. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of make sure this is wide enough. Stick it down here. Then I'm going to come across it. We can stick all this later. It's going to be sticking up for a little while. Okay. And just keep twisting your ribbon up. Just going a little smaller each time. I'm going to take another piece of tape. And put it there. Keep forgetting to take off the, the paper on it. Okay, so I just make another loop, stick it down there. We're just going to keep doing this, try to make a smaller one every time. Another little piece of tape here. 
So I'm really only sticking the left side right now. And when I'm done, I'm going to come back and make sure all the rest of it's attached. Okay, so I'll make a little bit smaller loop this time. If you can see, there's just loops on my card right now. But I'm not going to worry about the other side until we are done. So I need another little tiny piece of tape. Put it over here. And this is a little, I suppose a little unwieldy having your ribbon still on your spool, but you don't always know exactly how much you're going to need. Now I'm getting towards the end of it, so I'm going to just clip it up here. <clears throat> okay, and I'm just going to take and tuck this last piece under. So you can see I only really did five loops. Grab a little piece of tape. And I'm going to stick the last piece of my ribbon down. I can get this backing off right here. Okay, so now, now that we have our loops taped down, we can just go back and attach them in the middles and on the sides. Okay, okay so I got my ribbon taped down pretty well. Now I'm just going to go back and punch a hole at the top and I'm going to just stick my snowflake brad right through that hole you can see I could go back and take these down just a little bit better but just for the sake of time I'm going to leave it the way it is you can see I have a cute little Christmas tree and this just goes right on the front of my card Touch that, and that is all we need to do for this card. And there we go. We are finished. Thanks so much for watching.